Here's how you can add blur to your photos in Lightroom. You'll want to be in your develop tab and you can really use any of these adjustment brushes up here or adjustment filters such as the radial or the adjustment brush or the graduated filter. So for example, if we take the radial filter and we create sort of this mask around Isabel and I, this was a shot up in Paso Robles or Paso Robles in California, we now have this sharpness adjustment. So if we decrease the sharpness, you see that everything outside of this circle gets a little bit blurry. And if you want what's inside the circle blurry, you can invert the mask, but that doesn't look that good. And you also have this feathering. So if you want it to be more feathered, sort of the, adju the gradual adjustment from blur to not blur, then I would definitely increase that. So this is pretty cool. So if we just want, you know, ourselves blurred or not blurred, that's pretty cool. And then what we can do is actually edit this even a little further. You see here that Isabel's arm, my arm, the top of my head is a little bit blurry. I can actually go in while I have the radial filter selected to the brush tool right here. And with this brush tool, I can actually erase or add more blur. So for example, if I'm painting on right now, I'm adding blur right there. And if I actually go down here to show selected mask overlay, I can see what is blurred and what's not. Because this feathering is so much, a lot is actually getting a little bit blurry, even though you don't see it. So let's actually go in, let's select this point. I'll show you, see what happens when I decrease the feathering. So that might be a little bit better to start out with. But let's brush out some of that area where we are standing. So we'll click that brush again, click erase, and now we can brush over our skin to make sure our faces, to make sure that none of us is actually blurred. So that's looking pretty good. So this gives you a sort of a cool effect. And then we'll click done. Nice. You can also, to add a little bit more blur, you can decrease the clarity. It's not so much of a blur, but it does kind of get that effect. So if you like that sort of look, you can do that. Or of course, what you can do is create another radial filter and that sort of just duplicates this effect. So again, click new, radial filter. We'll add that to us. We'll decrease the sharpness, et cetera. And that kind of duplicates it. You can only do so much with one layer of blur. So that's with the blur. So I'll show you before, without blur, after. Very subtle, but of course with blurs, you don't wanna to go too crazy or it can look kind of weird. You know, there's some spots actually right here with the lily pads right here over my shoulder where I might wanna actually add back some of that blur. Say you want to just do a custom sort of blur. Instead of using the radial filter, you can use the brush. So just take your adjustment brush, decrease your sharpness, and start painting. And so I can take this over, start painting, paint over the background like that. If I wanna add a new one, I'll just click new, start painting again, that sort of multiplies the effect. You know, being careful not to brush over our faces. If I wanna go even more, but you can see that with this sort of unsharpening, some of the stuff starts to get a little distorted up in the trees with those details. So you wanna be careful about that. But that's just basically how you add blur to a photo. So it's a cool way to add that sort of tilt shift effect if you want, or do really whatever you want with blur. It's there for you to get creative with. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, which came from a student in our photography masterclass that you can find over at videoschoolonline.com. Have a great day.